Howdy, beautiful Bart here, and welcome. All right, I don't know what happened with the stream. It ended up just shitting itself. Um, Three Little Pigs. We're actually doing the mission called Three Little Pigs. Uh, the mission that I was doing while I was streaming earlier... <sighs> yeah, I was trying to do, on the first stream tonight, was trying to do a feral hog mission. And... All I needed was three feral hogs, one with a 44 mag, one with a 301 mag, and one with a 12 gauge with slugs. Got on the hunt, could not find the first frickin' hog. Our stream and no hogs heard, seen, shot, harvested, anything. In the stream, get up, make some sandwiches, um, check on mother... Uh, get some coffee, have a smoke. While I'm eating my sandwiches, I was hunting while I was eating my sandwiches, and ended up getting two of the three. There we go, there's first piggy. Uh, I got two of the three that I needed. One with the 44 mag, then one with the 12 gauge with the slugs, and then the final one uh, I did on a stream, and that stream just ended for no apparent reason. Let me get between a Fucking trees, seriously. Can't climb the rock, can't get between those uh, trees over there. So I'm not going to call, because right now I don't have anywhere where I would like to be standing when a wild pig is heading towards me. So I'm going to be looking for a spot to shoot from. And... Worst case scenario, I could pull the shotgun or the, the 1911. It's helpful to stop and listen every now and then. See if you can hear them walking through the brush. Okay, I hear geese flying over, but I swear I kept hearing footsteps. Doesn't mean that I'm not. Another tip, if you do squeal for a pig and you got thick brush like this, go to the flank. Work yourself to the side. So they're still going to be going to the location of where you squealed. And you're not going to run into them head on. Hopefully. So, again, this mission is three little pigs, and I think I'm just going to move ahead a little bit and then start calling as I get closer to the tower, because I would rather be in the tower than in thick brush like this where I don't have a good, clean place to shoot from, like a rock to stand on, a clear patch of, of no grass. So I'd rather err on the side of safety and just move a little bit farther ahead and get out of this danger zone. Because this is death. Just is pure death. So I'll come over here to the... Um, about parallel with where I saw the ping from where the animal called from. So at least I know that if I'm in the tower, I'm going to get a good shot. I would rather if it was too close to me right now... It come to right here as I'm continually walking away from it. That way, it hopefully, it'll be less chance for me getting killed. All right, she's still over there. That's fine. She was walking away. That's that's kind of a good thing. I said I'd rather make it over. That tree is leaning really hard to the left there, isn't it? Someone might need to give that uh, tree a little bit of a blue pill or something, or a really big blue pill. So that's good. The pig's far enough away. I can keep calling it and get it to come in to this tower. Which I hope this tower... I think this tower is on the edge of the field and should have good visibility. So it shouldn't be a problem. But yeah, I've got no good areas here to make a shot. I might be able to go to that hill over there and see something, but I'm not gonna. 
I'm going to make my way over here to this tower where I know that I got a safe shot. It's still early in the morning. It's 7 o'clock, 7.15, 16. Um, so that uh, I know that there's going to be plenty of time to, to harvest. I mean, this is still the, the first part of the hunt. But this tower is usually pretty productive. Um, almost guaranteed to get a good pig. And if you're wanting to be picky, I've seen as many as six pigs come after calling across these fields and had my choice of them. And usually, usually, not when I'm streaming, but usually what will happen is um, I can shoot one and within five to seven minutes I'm able to, to find another one, call it, move in, get a shot. So you can usually, usually, I'm doing air quotes right now, because uh, everybody loves air quotes. Um, can usually harvest a pretty fair amount of pigs on this map. Now, I have not used the infield on pigs. I think I used it on elk? I can't remember. I mean, I've got all the different um, World War II rifles. The Mosin the Gant, the infield, the O3 Springfield, the Mauser. Um, so I've got those, and i got scopes for all of them. There's my tower. I'm going to go ahead and call again. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll find this particular mission, and I'll, I'll just hop in a jeep and, and run from tower to tower to tower and get the travel portion of it done. Yes, I hear you, geese. If I was goose hunting, I'd worry about you. Do need to double check to make sure I put slugs in the shotgun. I'm pretty sure I did, but um, slugs. Okay. Well, oh, I'm not worried about ID in the collar right now because there's three pigs right here, and that looks like a nice boar. So we're gonna do this. No zoom on this scope. Really bad shot. Oh, that was a mess. Okay. So, that's terrible. I, I got at least two wounded. Maybe a third. So what I'm going to do is... And this is not what I recommend. It's definitely not an ethical way of doing things. I can see a blood stain right there. So I'm going to mark that now on the map. So what I can do is track one. Hopefully it won't have run too far on the first one. And then track the second one and maybe even get a shot on the third one. So that rifle, I didn't bring any spare ammo for it and I got two shots left. No problem. I got the pump shotgun and I got the 1911. I'm just wanting to clear the mission so that I can move on to the next one. And then get the absurd next one. And I would like to find out why I haven't got paid for the other one yet. Should have gotten 1200 GM from the last mission. And it didn't pop while I was in the... Uh, menu setting up for this hunt. Alright. So they all pretty much went that way. I'm going to pick up this one even though I know it's not the right one. Because tracks are tracks. You know, I know where I'm going to have to go. So I just want tracking points so that I can level up my tracking So we're going to have to go over this hill, and hopefully this first one's not going to be too far. I, I thought that was a decent shot. It might not have been, but I know that the other ones it, were absolutely terrible shots. And I don't recommend doing those crap shots like that, because you're going to spend more time tracking than you are hunting. So now we're on to the fleeing track, so we're going to go in the right direction. Oh, the pheasants. I should have brought the damn 22 uh, pistol or the uh, 22 air rifle. 
or just bird shot in the shotgun. Um, I'm going to actually look in the field and hope that we see something dead out there. Fling. And hopefully they kind of stuck together as they ran. That would be nice as well. So hopefully one will drop, then the second will drop, and then we can just come back and pick up the tracks from the third one if we need to, and just keep trailing. Now, the longer they run, the lower your um, harvest score is going to be, and it's going to cut down on your CSS, your, your, your income, essentially. But that's not why I'm doing that. I should have taken my time and confirmed that I got one good solid kill, used a good knockdown weapon, And I should have gone back and grabbed my dog, a tracking dog, since I'm shooting like shit right now. Screw you, pheasant. I don't care. Now, the only reason why I'm standing up and walking is I'm trying to cover the ground. But I'm not going to run. I hit the C key to run because I know that the rest of them spooked. They might be together again. And it doesn't hurt to call because it might get them to stop. Even if it's for a second, it's going to allow me to catch up to them. I shouldn't have taken those shots like that. I could have waited until they got closer and got one definite kill and then try to make one second kill. But with three hogs there plus more off to the side, we know that that was a productive area at least without me screwing it up. Yes, I preach about making sure you go for the ethical shots and everything, but... I'm not sure why I have a... a different method of thinking. Okay, there we go. Um... I see the piggies. Yeah, so... I have to apologize for the aircraft sounds. Apparently the Air Force is doing some repairs to the runways. All right. That was crappy. Yeah, I'm just shooting like a noob. One shot left in this rifle. That looked like two of the same two that were there before. And it looks like that one dropped. And... The first one I shot was a male that was a darker color, so I'm hoping that was it over there. Wow, that is some bad coffee. Yeah, I usually get the same brand. I make my coffee the same way every time. I get the Folgers Value Pack. Like, 36 K cups in a box, and normally it's not bad. Sometimes you just get a shit cup of coffee, though. Yes, I see the pig, but I'm getting the tracking point. Alright, so that's one of them. Score is going to suck. I don't care. 8 GM. So let's continue tracking. Ooh, 8 GM. Hmm. Try not to spend it all in the same location. Yes, it says he's going the opposite direction. I know different. He's to my right and over the hill. I'm just picking up tracking points. Because the higher you get in your tracking, the more information you're going to get on your hunter mate whenever you do pick up a track. That one is fleeing, heading this way, so we're never on the right track now. Um... But since there's a river here, here's another thing, too. Um, 
besides getting more information from your tracking points, there's only so many areas where you can cross these rivers. And only a handful of these animals can actually swim. So the ones that cannot have to run to the nearest crossing. Thought I heard another pig. Keep hearing these stupid pheasants. So it will have run and then gone to locate a place to cross. In this case, an actual bridge. But there's also little crossings in the water that you can cross in the water itself. Shallows. So there is a chance that this thing either A, crossed a bridge, B, ran over here, got stupid, and is pacing back and forth and running against a wall. Sometimes it, the AI just kind of goes into don't know what to do mode. Alright, so we got one bagged. Now, if I don't harvest this one that's wounded, then I'm going to get a nasty gram from Doc. And hey, stupid, you shot a mammal and didn't, didn't pick it up. You're an a-hole. Well, screw you, Doc. Still waiting on payment from the last mission. Now, it could be that because I have such shit internet, and if Mother decides, like she is right now, is watching Hulu, it messes with the down leg. Not enough to be a problem, because it's the up leg that I have to really worry about for streaming. Don't need as much data coming back. Uh, shit. Hopefully we'll find a spot on this side of the river. If not, then I'm going to have to go back across again and follow the river left or right. Probably that direction. There we go. There's a the track. So he did come across the water. Don't know if he actually used the bridge or not, but there is a track. What are you? Fleeing this way. Okay. So it is probably a legit track. Um, been trying to train my scent dog and it just absolutely has not been working correctly and has been doing really dumb things. I haven't used a retriever lately, but um, no, the um, the scent hound, I mean, I, she's like level 5 or 6 or something like that, and um, maybe 7. She loses track way too easy. And you can see one dome to the next. You know where the next dome is. You can see it. But you put the dog on, on blood, and it just, like, walks off in the wrong direction. Is it over here, maybe? And just stands there, and then gets confused and, and doesn't do anything. You have to call the dog back over to you, put her back on the track again, and hopefully she'll pick it up. If not, go. you have to mainly go to the next one and tell her to go then. And then sometimes it still doesn't pick up. And I'm like, you know what? What the hell did I pay for? I spent EM to... I bought EM to buy this stupid dog, and it has not really been all that useful. Okay, there's another male over there. At least we know there's another pig. But we're going to keep tracking this one because we know it's wounded. Now I can get this one to come over here and this one to come over here. Hopefully this one will die, but I could get that lucky, it looks like. Not worried about the score, just worried about the harvest.
Okay, went back to roaming. So he should be in this field. You gotta find that male that I shot first. Like right here. Make sure your punk ass is going down. And. Not sure what that was. It was running, but don't care. That's the male. Yep. 60 meters and 15 meters. Alright. Still gonna get 34 GM out of it. And credit. Uh, just said one of two. And two of three. Oh, it was harvest a pig, and then the next one was harvest another pig, and then the other one was harvest another pig. So there's two harvest another pigs, and that's why it's saying one of two, I hope. I hope. And what are the chances that I can get this pig over here to turn around, and I don't know what it was that ran over there. I'm thinking it might have been a bobcat. But I don't know. All I know is I need one more wild boar, and this mission is complete. This one I think was 800 GM. I know I've killed a buttload of um, pigs from that stand right there. You can probably sit there with the 22 rifle and kill a buttload of frickin'. I think you can kill pheasant with the 22 long rifle. Alright, so I know this other pig was over here in that field. Pig track's going that way. I should pick him up just for the points, but I um, was pretty sure that there was the one still over here. So I don't know if he spooked and ran. Depends on how close he was. There we go. Where are you? I know you guys can't see him because of you know the resolution. You are a doe. Don't. Don't want to don't. I want a piggy. Have no use for a doe whatsoever. But doing missions is a good way of, of getting your GM up. And like I said, some of these, um, the, the you know, the first, second, and third missions are usually pretty damn easy. They don't pay as much, like 100, 200, 300, 500, 800, 1200 on up. And by the time you get up to the higher levels and close to completion or completion, like I said, I've had some that were paying out 3800 uh, GM. And that's helpful when you're trying to um, to buy new weapons, new gear, uh, whatever you want to buy. I'm actually gonna go over here to the stand. I should be able to call a pig into the stand. Um, usually, the gunshot when you fire a gun in game it's going to spook everything within a certain radius but you can see that that doe was still there so it wasn't affected by the gunshot and then usually it takes about eight to ten minutes or so I don't never like put a stopwatch on or anything but about eight to ten minutes sometimes for it to kind of reset it back to okay now this is a safe area for wildlife and then they'll start slowly coming back in or if you're calling them, you'll be able to call them in at that point. 
they're no longer alerted to that area. So in theory, you could work one tower. Yes, I didn't mean to take the binocs down. Uh, see a uh, piggy. We will squeal this one on in. But we're going to head to the tower. Get a stable shot. We'll call this one in closer. And whatever. I can shoot it with the, uh, the pistol, the shotgun, or the rifle. What I may do is shoot it with the rifle. For better or for worse, I got one bullet left. And I hate to end a hunt with one bullet. Because then whenever I go to load it up, this rifle up for the next hunt, it's going to give me that one bullet again. And if I went out with a fresh box, and then I fired one shot, we'll say, or two shots out of it, it won't combine the ammo together. My old piggy. Come on, piggy piggy. Geese. Sometimes the geese will actually land in this field, too. All right, pig. Get your butt in here. I've been so focused on watching a pig coming in from this direction that I haven't seen some come in from the other direction and have been killed by stuff that I never even saw that came in. Earlier in the stream, I had the coyote. I'm, I'm waiting for a coyote to come over the ridge in front of me and another one walked up behind me and then just ran right next to me. Alright, so this pig will come in. It's close. It was already heading this way anyway. geese. Oh, that's such a big cup of coffee. And I keep drinking it. When they're flying normally, you cannot shoot them in the air. The only time you can shoot them is when you actually um, are sitting somewhere where you're fully camoed and they don't see you. They may land in the field, but specifically if you have um, decoys, they will come out to the decoys and land. I see piggy right under my crosshairs 452 feet see this is where if I was doing that other mission on feral hogs I'd have to wait for this one to come in two feet before I could shoot him and then now it would be in range that shoot between 400 and 450 or 300 and 350 or 200 and 250 one in each of those bracketed ranges. Just seeing if there's anything else. But since this is a male, it will actually give me some GM for a male. Get more for the males than you do for the females. But yeah, the geese, I've seen people that are new to the game will just sit there and blast at them when they're flying overhead like that, and you're just not going to hit them. They're not hittable. They're, they don't have a hitbox. They're just, you know, they're, they're not real at that point. They're, it, it's hard to explain. Basically, they have no hitbox, no collision box. They're just a thing flying over. Now, whenever they get triggered to want to land in a certain area, then you might see them split off from each other. I could probably sit here and call and get them to come in. So like that, you cannot hit them when they're at that range like that, just flying over. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you can do in real life, it matters what you can do in the game. All right. Come on, stupid. Come on, sausage. I want to put you down so I can complete my mission. I will pick up the call because it helps with uh, the points as well. I could make that shot. But the way that I'm shooting tonight, after that last rifle shot, I don't know if I want to. Well, that is a, a profile shot. 
Now, you notice the crosshair sway while I'm in the, the stand versus crouching. I'm standing. This would be the worst aiming uh, that you could do is standing up. Yes, it is. Don't shake your head, no. Now, I can hit the space bar and do that. Now, that was terrible. He moved his head at just the right minute. Again, I saw where I shot him. I see where he's running. But I'm going to mark the spot there and then watch. The last known spot that I could see him is right there. So now whenever I get out of the stand, I have a clue of where I'm going. I just want to use that shot up. And I'm going to sprint. I'm just going to be totally on new boat because this is going to finish me out for this mission. Then we'll end the hunt, go back, and look at the thing. I'm going to see if I got paid for that other mission. Should have gotten 1200 for that. I think this mission was 800 So that would be basically six pigs and two hunts and minimum of 2,000 EM, GM. Not EM, but GM. I wish it was EM. All right. And that was a body shot. That should have been a hell of a lot more than just body. That should have penetrated. What I was trying to do was wait, and I fired while his head was down with hopes of when he put his head down, that would have been a brain shot. And just as soon as I pulled the trigger, he stuck his head up. Which spoiled the shot. That's the wrong track. We need the fleeing tracks. You have to watch. Sometimes, too, they will just flat out turn 90 degrees from where you were tracking them from. Fleeing. We know the fleeing was going this way. Did I even pick up that one? Yes. So, this was the fleeing track, and says he ran this way. Even though it says he ran this way, he could have just turned totally 90 degrees and gone a totally different direction. So you'll go out here and you're looking around. Sometimes you'll find a close spot like that. Sometimes you don't. I'll stop running here. I almost didn't see that one for the grass. So it shows that it's going this way. So you follow this cone on your, your, um, your hunter mate and most of the time it's correct. But sometimes they just flip the script and turn went a different direction. Shut up, roe deer. I do not care about you. I don't even have my roe deer call with me. And that was a female, anyhow. So that's a zero pointer. Not even worth a bullet. You won't get any CSS, no score, no. EM, no GM, no nothing. You just waste a damn bullet. But also, when you don't find a track for a little while, sometimes I've actually um, walked out like this, don't find a track, and it actually had died, and I just didn't see it in the grass. And when it was like that, it fell in the water, and um, couldn't see anything. Couldn't see a spot, couldn't see a dead animal, couldn't see anything because it was completely submerged under the water and only one of its horns was sticking up and I thought that was a branch. Fleeing. Alright, so we're, we're two for two on, or multiple, like, what, four or five for five. Bad shots with that uh, infield because I took bad shots. It doesn't mean that it's not capable of doing one-shot kills. Uh, that one didn't say one shot. The other one does. What's up? Don't spam my shit. Mm, 
Nobody likes spammers. So yeah, when it comes to tracking, though, I mean, it's one of those things where, um, like this, it's going along with the um, the hunter mate pretty well, but you never know. Well, somebody's got to love me, but don't spam me. So we just want to pick up this one. I'll buy some more ammo eventually for the uh, the infield, but it's not really impressed me on pigs right now. Uh, I know it does pretty good on elk. A lot of times whenever I'm hunting elk, I, I like to get them in close anyway. All right, so you either need to stop or leave. Because I will not hesitate to pause what I'm doing and block you. And another pig. I don't want to be distracted by another pig. I want to get this one to be done with it and not deal with having to shoot another one and have a bad shot. Yes, I hear you, road deer. And no fresh track. Uh, see a pig right there. And we're out for that. We got the shotgun and we got the pistol. Do you have so little to do with your life that you just find someone who's live streaming and decide to spam them? What does that say for your life? <laughs> it's really sad. Yeah, at least I have a reason for not being out tonight. I am being stupid here. I still need to track this other one. But if I can bring this one down and do it quickly, because I know the damn shotgun's going to do it, um, I'm not going to sit there and have to uh, keep tracking the other one. I don't care about Doc. He can send me an email all he wants to. I do care. The reason why I'm standing next to the tree is in case I screw something up and it decides to charge. That is definitely not the same one that I shot at. Don't you shake your head at me. You keep on coming. Quit wasting my time, pig. Those geese need to shut up, too. Why did you turn then? Oh, bullshit. You're dead anyway. Oh, hell no, you're not going to kill me. You better run. <laughs> Shit. All right, got one dead over there. One wounded that just ran over there. I did not see that son of a bitch get up on that tree like that. So we're going to pick up this one. That'll finish the mission. Yep, three little piggies completed. So now we got two wounded. Yay. But this one was going to charge. 
So, since we have this issue here, I got blood right there, and I don't have my dog with me. I mean, that bastard was close to that tree. Uh, I'm going to go back to the last known track from the other one that I was doing. And just in case that track, and I have seen them disappear, I'm going to go ahead and... visual reference to the right of that big tree right there that's not it my other one is right over here right there so I'm just going to tag that one so now I've got a dot on the map. So if that track disappears, the actual track won't disappear, but the X's on my um, Hunter Mate will disappear over time as I'm picking up other uh, more and more and more tracks. And there's a good chance I might find the other one because there was a third pig that ran as well. So I shot the one, it dropped, shot the second one that was right on top of me, and it ran, but I saw a third one run as well. So now we'll pick up on the blood trail for this one. And who knows, we might find the other one as well. And the blood was right over here. No, this one. Intestines. Bullshit. One doc um, email. Okay. A double? No. Fleeing. That one should have been hit good enough to actually fall. And no. It's kind of hard to tell with this freaking tall grass. He's still bleeding. I'm not sure why, but you still see um, pheasant tracks on the ground. Do we really need to see pheasant tracks? I just, I never really thought that was an important thing, because you can usually see the pheasant, especially from a distance, whenever you're not getting the grass to draw. This one said should fall. It should be dead. And we got another tower there. I don't want to run because the other one might not have dropped yet. I don't want to spook everything. I'm not really so concerned about the doc emails. I've got completion on that mission and that's going to give me a 800 more GM. So combine that with the 1200 then from the other mission then hell that should be two grand not including the other 800 I think it was from the other one so close to 3,000 uh, GM in an afternoon just in a couple quick not really quick but in a couple hunts about what three hours I'm not going to track this one for much longer. I mean, I could always grab my tracking dog, you know, like fast travel back to uh, the lodge, get my tracking dog, hop in a Jeep, drive back out here, and then just get out and let the dog track. If the dog works correctly, that is. If it has not been working correctly, and a dog has been spooking animals a lot more than it used to. I mean, from last week to this week, it's been a noticeable change. You know, I tried going after the, wild, uh, the water buffalo and the bantang, and I, I couldn't get a close shot. Just so because every time I would try to creep in for a close shot for like a bow or crossbow or black powder or something, you know, a short-range weapon, 
I couldn't get a shot because it would spook way too easy and way earlier than they should have. Alright, this asshole needs to be dead soon. Alright, I don't know if that was noticeable. But, my computer kind of eh, froze for just a, a millisecond. Okay, usually when that happens... It only happens in this game, by the way. But usually when that happens, it's um, the fact that another animal has just spawned in or has come within a sensor range or some kind of range. It's come in range. It kind of lets me know that something is close now. or something happened. It doesn't do it all the time, but every so often. It always coincides with the fact that something else just spawned in, or is close, or something of that nature. Alright, you're pissing me off, pig. I'm about to go ahead and end this mission, or end this hunt, just because I know I've already accomplished my mission. I'll just deal with the doc email. Because I have now two creatures that I've shot and have not harvested. Which is not like me. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. And again, this could be one of those times where it was going this direction and then suddenly turned 90 degrees. So you go back to the last known track. and try a totally different direction. It says it's going this way. Well, it's obviously not. Pretty good chance it did not double back and go to the right, but if you notice the direction of which the um, tracks are going, it is making a semicircle shape here. So it is very possible that it's gone this direction. And like I said, I am totally not worried about it. I've already got mission complete, so... If I don't see something by the time I get to this little ridge right here and can see down, shut up, roe deer. I don't care. So, I don't see it. So I'm going to go ahead and end the hunt. I'm not going to spend all day tracking an animal that's not going to get me but 20 or 30 uh, EM or GM. It's just not worth my time. I'll take a Doc Nasty Gram. Alright, so... Um, let's go back to... And you have to give me just a second to switch over to scene. So, okay, we did... I did finally get paid for the other one. So let's see if we get paid for this one anytime soon. Alright, so we got my three pigs for the mission, and I got two of them. I'm going to have an email message from Doc saying, you suck. So, let's look at your missions. Now, Mother's Day available. Harvest a male wild boar of at least 181 kilograms. I don't give a fuck about your kilograms. So, approximately 400 pounds. And with at least an 800 point score. Hmm. So, in other words, you got to kill a biggin. But you'll get 400 for for that. Oh, this one, that last mission was not, uh, I think that was, what, how much was that one? Where is Deer Wild Boar? What was up here? Um, feral Hog Wild Boar. Yeah, three little piggies was only a 300 GM. <laughs> Alright, so no big deal. I mean, the next one is going to be higher, and they keep progressively getting higher. Um, one of the ones that I'm going to start doing next was the um, aim point missions. Melt. 
mallard. Any of the, the waterfowl like that, you really had to spend a lot of frickin' money on. Aim point missions. I need to look at the Canada Goose missions, too. Um, off on the wrong foot. What's up? Just IDing calls, and that's 200 GM. All right. Um... Aim point missions. Okay. This is going to be an interesting and long hunt. Harvest a white tailed deer, black tailed deer, black bear, Roosevelt elk, and moose. And that's on Red Feather Falls. And they all have to be killed in the same hunt using a rifle mounted with an aim point sight. How are we doing tonight? So, I've got the aim point sight, naturally. There's two aim point sights, actually three red dot opt or four red dot optics. Um, basically, one of every species, one of every species on Red Feather Falls. I know that much. Sights wise, on the aim points slash. I think of any of the red red dots naturally as an aim point, but you get the uh, H3, H34L, which I've already got that one. I don't have the micro, don't really need to, because it only works on one rifle. Um, it kind of annoys me a little bit that uh, these scopes don't work on everything. I can understand, okay, the vintage scope. What does it work on? It only works on the 17 HMR. Why does a vintage scope work on a 17 HMR that's only a 10-year-old frickin' cartridge? Uh, you know, that's not vintage. You know? If you look at shotgun sights, that's a red dot optic, but it's not considered to be an aim point. For the handgun, the red dot pistol scope, it's not considered as part of the, um, the aim points. Muzzle loader, you've only got that. Bow and crossbow, there is no aim point for them. Shotgun, we already covered. Handgun, we covered. So, rifle wise, the only thing you can use on this mission is this one and this one. And the aim point micro only works on the 6.5 by 55. And if you look at what you can use it for, deer, you can use it on moose. No. So that would be not a viable scope. So let's look at the other one, the H34L. It'll work on the 7mm mag, which are four different rifles and 7 mag right there. I've got this one. I'm still going to probably end up getting the candy cane rifle, just for shits and giggles. And it's 8 Mauser. I've got the 308, the 223 here. I've got the 9.3 by 62 Anschutz, which that's probably what I'll end up putting it on. Because it works on pretty much all the stuff. Um, white tail, black tail, mule deer works on Roosevelt Elk, where are you? Here, yes. And it works on moose, so it covers everything here. I've never actually used that scope, so what I'll do is I can actually use this rifle, that scope, but let me check my ammo. Yeah, it's not the same as the 9.3 by 74R. That's a completely different round and different rifle. Um, 4570, 303 Brit, 7 Mag, 3030. Uh, yeah, right here. I've got 22 rounds. So that's good enough. 9.3 by 62. I'm have to buy some more ammo on some of these. Uh, I need to pick up some more 308 eventually. Got plenty of 8 Mauser. Probably need some more 223. Because I've been using the AR-15 a little bit. And i got 15 rounds left for the 303. 
the 762 by 54R, the Mosin ammo. Eh, fair. Yeah, so I'm good enough on that. So I'll use the uh, the 9.3 by 62R or no, by 62. I won't load any other ammo, any other weapons. I'll just use that gun only, with that scope only, and I'll leave everything else at home. Cause, you know, there's no point in carrying them if I got to kill one of each species, and it's going to be a long hunt. So, that map, Red Feather Falls. I have a tent here, and I can get the bear, I can get the blacktail, and the moose from my tent. Roosevelt elk, I just need to come east because this area right here is really productive for elk. Uh, whitetail, I, very few and far between. So if I clear this area for bear, moose, and blacktail, move over here, get an elk, and then head south. Let's say either in this area right here for whitetail, in between the, the two. So I guess that means I start over here, work this area, move over here, work this area, and then go down that way. Um, probably won't do that one on stream just because it's going to be a long hunt. I may, I may not. Uh, I'm going to take a break for a little while and come back and then get reset back up. But, like I said, I, I will figure out whether I'm going to stream it or not. <clears throat> but before I end this stream, let's do this. Do something really quickly before I end the stream. But I want to thank everybody that stops by to catch the stream and if there's any feedback I do apologize I will try to mute it stream and if there's all right so this little ass clown Hyung we will report just because you know for spamming and then we will hide user on this channel so you'll never be able to do anything again and then remove all of his shit posts it is so not nice to spam somebody when they're streaming. And put your own timeout just to be on the safe side. Alright, so yeah, if you are the kind of person that goes to somebody else's live stream and spams or interrupts or causes problems, what does that really say about your life? You have that little to do with your life that you would spend it spamming somebody's live stream who's trying to enjoy themselves and for anybody that who wants to join in and talk they're more than welcome to talk that's what chat's there for but if you're that kind of person you're very sad very pathetic should be ashamed of yourself I mean if you have that little to do with your time what does it really mean how pathetic are you that that's all you have to do with your life is do that. At least I have a reason for being here. Thanks for everybody else who stopped by, and we will see you later.